For over 30 years, he's lived in the music and celebrity world, and for more than half that time, he's been the voice of the Arias. His sharp interviewing skills have won the trust of some big names in entertainment, bringing their untold stories to light. Why do you think there's been such a huge fascination about your sexuality then? Please welcome one of the nation's most respected media personalities, Nick Bennett. <laughs> Oh, you're so handsome. Oh, come here. Oh, man, <laughs> hug. man hug, man Thank kiss, you. the whole lot. Welcome to the Welcome. show. Thanks, Sarah. Can you do some voices for us? Sure. <laughs> Welcome back to the 25th Aria oh. Awards. Oh. <laughs> and now, Isa Buttrose. Oh. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> Jessica Rowe. Oh. Did you do training or did you always have a really special voice? No, I did train. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I used to sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, look, uh, my mum was in radio. Yeah. And I fell in love with it. Yeah. And when that happened, I spent lots of time in the studios. And there were a couple of guys, Kevin and Stephen, when I was about 16, and they took me under their wing. They were local DJs where mum was working. Mm -hmm. And they said, yeah, you've got something there. And they really mentored me and helped mm. me bring something out. And I just stuck with it. The concerning reality is that the majority of those people have never even had an eye examination. Sometimes a pair of glasses is all that stands between them, clear vision and opportunity. But there's more to it than that. A thorough examination can detect eye diseases and early treatment can prevent blindness. Over the five years to the 31st of March 2015, its investors earned an average of 8.2% per annum. With results like these, it's hardly a surprise people think Trilogy Funds provides its investors with high rates of return. In 2005, he put out the incredibly popular, platinum-selling, self-financed, independent release called Autumn Flow. Thankfully, a fourth album has arrived. It came out last week. So popular that it sold out here last night. Would you please welcome Lior? The ABC's Paper Giants, and you're sitting in your TV room or wherever you like to lounge and watch the box. What were you thinking when you saw this story of your life before your eyes? News for the music industry. Massive, I think. Look, the cab drivers are talking about it. Ah. Those that were born in the 60s and 70s who loved Cold Chisel and grew up with it. It's really big news. This is a rarity. The last time the band got together was for a charity tsunami event four years ago in Melbourne. Before that, it was six years ago in the round, and that was a massive sellout. Thank you, Ali Brunning. You got the gloves on this morning. It's a wee bit chilly up here, isn't it? It sure is. I we thought you meant the gloves on as in ready uh, to fight. <laughs> oh, well, that too. Someone said yesterday the wind chill was down to minus one, but I don't need to remind anybody just how cold it is if you're in the camping grounds. Congratulations if you've survived three nights in those camping grounds because you've been battered by everything that Bass Straits had to offer. G'day. When musical genius manifests, it's easy to be dazzled by the sheer brilliance of song. A singer can transfix you by the emotion the performance evokes. When you dig deeper and find out what makes the muso tick, it can be a very special, sometimes tragic, funny story. Ray is just like that. 